<clears throat> Hi everybody, this is Annie. I am a witness for Jesus Christ and I am also a prayer warrior. Praise God. This is a great day. We are already at the end of May, May 29th. Hallelujah. Today is my sister Mary's birthday, so I want to shout out to my sister Mary and wish you a very happy, blessed, beautiful, favored birthday. If your birthday is today, I pray in Jesus' name you have a beautiful, blessed day and the Lord blesses you all the year through. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We only get wiser as we get older. Praise God, especially if you stay close to Jesus. He is wisdom. Praise God. We had been going over the book of Psalms. There are days that I still want to sit down and make a video because I love Psalms because they pray for us. But the Lord has put in my heart that throughout the whole Bible, there are prayers everywhere. Hallelujah. So today we're going to go into the Old Testament under 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9. And if you know this one, it is a great one to meditate on. It is one to actually meditate on every single day and pray it all year through. Hallelujah. It is the Jabez prayer. <clears throat> so I thought we would go ahead and read the Jabez prayer. Jabez was a man who got his name because of the pain he caused his mother during birth. But he was still the most respected son in his family. And one day he prayed to Israel's God, please bless me and give me a lot of land. Be with me so I will be safe from harm. And God did just what Jabez had asked in Jesus' name. So let's pray today. Let's pray and ask the Lord to expand our land, expand our territory, and not have any harm today. Hallelujah. So Lord God, in your beautiful, precious son's name, Jesus, we just adore you today. We honor you. We love you. We exalt you with every breath we take. We're going to lift you up today and as the praises go up your glory becomes more prominent on our faces and in our lives hallelujah jesus we adore the jabez prayer praise god praise god for those of us that have gone through things tough things through valleys through storms anything that has gone on through this whole season we are asking you to expand our territory and not bring pain, not have any suffering, but to seek you, Lord, and walk in peace. You are our wonderful counselor, Lord. Hear our Jabez prayer today as we call out to you, Lord. Mm expand our land no suffering no harm no shame just walking in peace and patience in kindness in gentleness in self-control having every joy rejoicing always in you in your word and around others lord clean out our hearts today lord put your word in our heart marinate our hearts today soak our hearts today in your word today lord to keep our minds renewed so we stay in your will praising you worshiping you glorifying you all day every day staying on your will in your path not looking to the left or to the right but looking all to you jesus praise god you are the prince of peace you are the god of shalom you are our savior our redeemer our rock Praise you, praise you, praise you, Lord. You are our treasure today. Today we are going to taste and see 
how good you are. Take those scales off our eyes, the deafness out of our ears, the veil off our faces, and help us today to walk in your love, in your awe, because when you are in our lives, we glorify you always. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So, mm, First Chronicles chapter 4, starting in verse 9, the Jabez prayer. Pray it for a while. Pray it for 30 days and see how the Lord will minister to your heart and work out things opening doors, being the God of breakthrough, the God of miracle in your life today. Hallelujah. Let him put a new song in your heart today. Think of Jesus all day, every day. You can't have a bad day that way. I love you. He loves us even more. Praise God. Jesus Christ is Lord and our souls are well. Bye now.